I'm walking around in the circle of life Doing the things I know Walking the same ways a hundred of times With the same soul Try up on the right side, put it up on your mind. But do you ever try to pop on the left side, put it up on your mind?
All I need is ten more minutes, ten more minutes with you. Let me give it all one last shot. Will I ever get through to you? Oh, am I wasting my time? Should I leave for the night? It's unclear at the moment. Can you give me a sign? I'm here trying and trying. I need ten more minutes with you. So let me know if you give up hope. Do I leave you alone or I leave you alone? So let me know if you give up hope by now. So let me know if you give up hope. Do I leave you alone or I leave you alone? So let me know if you give up hope. I need ten more minutes, ten more minutes with you. Okay, and here you have it. You just watched a 1v1 montage and now you're interested in my build, so let's take a look at it. First of all, of course, I'm using the Claymore and for the passives I went with the first Q, fourth W and first passive. Then for my helmet I picked the Mage Cow and went with the third ability and first passive. Then for my chest armor I chose the Cleric Robe and picked the third ability and first passive. And lastly for my shoes I went with the guardian boots and picked the third ability and second passive. Then for my choice of capes I picked the Tetford cape and for my consumables I went with the beefs 2 and poison potions. And now let's go quickly over the build's playstyle. So one of the most important things to save money for Claymore players is to use only around 900 to 950 item power. Because this build really doesn't need that much damage and by itself it is very good and against most builds you will win no matter what IP you have. And just so you would know, all of these fights that you saw in this video I was always 50 to even 100 item power lower than all of my enemies. And I still won most of my fights so this build is for sure very good for players not wanting to waste money but just go straight into the PvP. But nonetheless, sword weapons in general are very simple to use so my main objective at the beginning of the fight is to use my poison potion and activate the D ability, which will apply a poison effect on my weapon. So no matter what, if the enemy runs away or goes invisible, he will take damage every single second. But then when you are fighting close to each other, what you want to do is use your Q three times and then use the E ability. And then lastly, I use my W to either way catch the player, or when I saw that he won't be running away, I just used it straight away for more damage. And then of course use the F4R ability whenever you feel like a lot of damage is about to come your way. And most importantly, don't forget that like any builds, the more you practice and play, the better you will get. And then last but not the least, I want to mention it that you always want to inspect your enemy and see if you need to adjust your build. So it happens rarely but here in this fight where I fought a frost tap and knew that he would be teleporting and trying to run away, while still damaging me, so I switched my W for the second ability and I changed my boots to the run ability. And don't forget that like I said at the start, you don't have to do this, but for some builds if you want to kill them easier and you have already played that build, you know how to outplay it. So just change few things depending on your enemy and kill them a lot easier. And that's about it. So, I really do appreciate everyone for watching guys and I hope you enjoyed it. If you have any more suggestions, feedback or different builds that you would like me to make a 1v1 montage about, then leave them in the comment section down below. And while you're doing that, please click like, subscribe and enable that notification bell, so this way you could support the channel and you won't miss any more amazing content from me. With all of this said, you have an amazing day and I will catch you in my next video. So take it easy, peace. Yo, I ain't here for the